Welcome back. Summer will be over before we know it, and flu season is well on its way. Now, Dr. Brian Curtis joins us live this morning with a look at how you can stay healthy and safe this flu season. Good morning, Dr. Curtis. How are you doing today? Good, good, thank you. Yes, glad to have you here. Well, we are quickly approaching flu season, as mentioned. Do we know what we can expect regarding severity based on what other parts of the world are experiencing? Sure, uh, the best way to do that is to kind of look at the southern hemisphere because they're coming out of their winter and coming into their summer. And so particularly looking at Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, and so Australia actually had a really bad flu season. Uh, it started early and ran very long. And, and so it kind of gives us a little bit of an insight to what we could see here in the northern hemisphere. Mm -hmm. and, and the other thing that we saw within that is that uh, kids, particularly under five, actually had a really bad flu season. And if you think about it, we have not had a bad flu season in about two or three years. And so these kids under five really have not seen the flu virus. Right. And, and so really it's showing us that we could be in store for a, a long flu season here. Well, hopefully not, but uh, how important is it to get a flu shot? And um, when, I guess, shall we get the flu shot this year? Yeah, so the flu shots, uh, really, you'll see some of the pharmacies advertising them now. When I was driving around town, I saw that. Um, but usually, if you have a health condition, diabetes, heart failure, you have lung disease, you're on oxygen, probably should look at getting the flu shot next month in September. Uh, the rest of the people should probably get it in October going forward. And, and so that's usually the recommendations for that. All right, very good. So should people space their flu shot out from other vaccinations like a COVID or shingles shot, for example? Yeah, you know, when uh, the COVID vaccine first came out, we did separate the flu shot from the COVID vaccine. And a lot of that was because the COVID vaccine was new and we weren't quite sure how it was. But right now what we say is that you can get both of them together. So really there's no spacing required. Uh, and so uh, if you're due for a booster or you're high risk and need a booster and you need to get the flu shot, you can get both at the same time. I mean, is there anything else that you'd like to add about flu season? What we should expect as we get closer to needing to get our flu shots? Yeah, really the biggest thing is going to be the flu shots. And so Australia had the worst uh, flu season in five years. And right. so that actually takes you two or three years even before we had the pandemic. And, and so really the flu shot is effective. You know, some years it's only about 50 or 60 percent effective because a lot, of, a lot of it's guesswork of what we anticipate the flu strains to be. Uh, but the best thing to do is prevention. And so if you can get a flu shot and prevent you from getting the flu or actually having a milder case of the flu, so people that get the flu shot have milder illness and people that don't get the flu shot. And then the other things, you know, washing your hands, staying home when you're ill um, is going to be the biggest uh, thing for this season. Very good. Well, Dr. Curtis, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. And of course, we'll share all of these details on our website, ciproud.com.